Okay, so like, I'm telling you now that like I'm fr I get frustrated with doing the same thing over and over again, especially um, when you do it for hundreds of hours. But right now, the only reason I'm getting like about things is because I have not dedicated myself to a long amount of uh, time playing RuneScape 3 in quite a while, so um, it's all coming back to me. So a lot of people criticise RuneScape 3 for being too easy, but you need to understand a little something about this game is that for years we had RuneScape just in its purest form, and for some people it was just too much. People didn't have hundreds of hours to shove into farming or, or herb law or, you know, all that type of jazz. So RuneScape 3 was uh, their experiment to say, you know what, uh, we understand a lot of people are getting sick of the way RuneScape has looked for years now. Um, and also we'd like to correct some of, the, some of the mistakes we've made and take this game in a different direction, which is why they made, uh, obviously, old school. Um, and let this take its own path. I don't think there's any reason to hate on RS3. It is what it is. Um, I happen to like it. I know that it hasn't, it hasn't, uh, you know, had the best reviews from a lot of people. But RS3 is fun for me for reasons that old school couldn't be. Um, old school, I never see, um, I never get like a sense of actual achievement when I play that game. Uh, and I'm just not down to be hunting, spending thousands of hours getting um, certain levels on certain skills. Like the only, the only skill that I can think of to get f like really fucking high that would reward me in a certain way would be like. Uh, rune crafting to like double nats. Could you imagine getting double nats? That would be fucking incredible. You'd just be making so much money. It would be it. It would be mental. You could probably like make mad real life money as well along with that, just by selling gold. So there's two main methods I want to use in order to get starter cash at a really low level. So. Uh, right now, the reason I'm doing this is so I can make hard leather boots, which uh, sell to general stores for 300 GP each. And it's only going to take one of these in order to do it. So every kill that I'd be doing here as soon as I hit 27 crafting is going to get me 300 GP, which is eventually going to stack up um, to a decent amount of money, allowing me to afford certain things. Uh, and cash is important on Iron Man. Not as important as you'd expect. But still important. Um, eventually it will be more important with miscellanea and things like that. Um, but yeah. Oh, it's given me the option to actually make hard leather now. Good stuff. But we're still going with the uh, with the regular. Okay, so about to hit the level. Um, so with GP I need a couple of things. Number one, I'm going to need... Um, oh no, I can't make him yet. I've got to get hard leather, haven't I? So I'm going to need fishing shit. Besides that, I can't really think of much that I need to buy from shops right now, besides eventually armour and things like that. I mean, we got coins to tan hides. Well, we only need like a couple of couple of hundred. But um, yeah, we're good. We're going to go do a bit of that. I'll be right back. So it actually seems since the last time I was doing this uh, that hard leather boots got nerfed and that they now only sell for 60 GP each. So this is actually pointless for me to be doing. Um, I don't regret doing it because I got myself some crafting levels so it's definitely a good thing but you know fuck it okay so uh, I'm done with this for a bit we'll just sell what we've got hopefully we get like something out of it I'm not even sure how much this shit sells for like nothing well there's 50 GP <laughs> um, yeah let's just get rid of everything I think kept like one set of everything um yeah we got 10k uh didn't really get much out of that but the skilling was like the priority um oh shit uh yeah the skilling was the number one priority just to get some stuff going on because uh so many quests require skills also i'm gonna get rid of my ocd right now and uh click on all these motherfuckers okay so i game i came i game yeah i game Motherfucker, I came to Dark Wizards in order to get a Fire Talisman for runecrafting in the future. Achieved. Um, should I stay here and just kill a couple more? It's uh, it's fairly like decent things to kill because they're like around my level. They're not hitting me that much. Um, that's like the first time I've eaten while I've been here. But like, they're alright to kill. Um, and now I can actually one-click them. That's sexual. 
Um, but yeah, we're, we're just preparing for the future. I'm just trying to be smart about this, you know. Um, and RuneSpan is going to get incredibly boring after a while. And I'm going to want to go and try out actually RuneCrafting Fire Runes. So, um, yeah, maybe we'll do that. We'll have to prepare themselves to come to battle. And I bet you, I bet what I have, everything I have, that meatloaf. <laughs> Yo, I got a new customization outfit. How sexy is that? Looks like I'm wearing some like sick tier fucking 350 million gear. Actually wearing hard leather and a wicked hood and a red and a, and a regular red cape. I'm fucking lit. Anyway, we've got some rewards here. So anyway, I spent all of my loyalty points that I have saved up on this account because this is actually an old school account as well. Um, it's had membership for quite a while, so I had like sort of 200 odd K um, loyalty points. Anyway, we bought the regular Jack of All Trades aura um, and we bought all the other ones, but I don't know if that. Yeah, it does. It just goes into one. That's, uh, that's okay. Does it have to recharge? Hold on. I was going to use it now. And we've still got this this thing that we can choose how much XP we get. Only that. We get barely anything for this. Okay, well, we need to put it in a skill that already has some levels. So, what do we need? I do want... I, I, oh, Dunge. How much is Dunge? 1.4k. It's like it will go up after a certain amount of time. I think I should put it in the highest skill that I've got. Although, I don't really want to put it in combat stats because they're got very quickly. So, all that... Sorry, they're, they're leveled quicker. So... Um, should put it in crafting? A bit of crafting? Yeah, go on in. So that'll be a level. So now we have this, which is gain XP in 20... Hold on. So it's gain XP in 20 different skills within 3 hours to unlock an XP reward. Now that's going to be a lot more XP than what we've got here. So we might just go from top to bottom. So it's 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it's two lines and two. So we can... We can avoid seven skills, including the elite skills. Okay. Okay, so daily is uh, pretty much done for the day. We just need to, uh, need to grab some essence and then just siphon a fucker. And we've almost done it. Please just just siphon. Just, please. All right, hold on. I don't. Okay, no, no, no that's good. Drucker trays. Okay. Fucking Tavarok. Okay. Well, I already fucking did it today. So, even though I upgraded and it's completely different aura, it's not gonna give me another fucking package which it should because I could only ever do that once that's absolute bullshit and then my bank is ruined fuck me dude okay so woken up from a snooze um jumping on the priest and peril quest getting that out of the way um I just want access to cannabis with the nature spirit at some point um the reason I'm doing this now is so I can get the um the level 20 slayer master because uh, the quicker you start Slayer, you know, not only the better XP there is, but the more, um, as you level up, your Slayer comes with you. And I never want to get to the point where I'm, like, 70 strength and attack with, like, 5 Slayer. <laughs> I don't want to get to that point. That was the way I was on my main. I had to get, I think I'm, like, 97 Slayer on my main right now. And it just takes um, quite a while. Uh, this should be the last ingredient to this quest. Come on, finish the quest. Hey, alright, so we've got some prayer XP. Always handy. Uh, and the wolfbane dagger. Is this... This has any stats? <laughs> Absolutely no stats. Right, well we need to... I'm not going to have him calling me back like, FUCKING STOP! Like normal. You want to see an example of just how little XP you get from, uh, from challenges? Let's have a look. I'm pretty sure you get very little from this. This is the uh, the pickpocket one. 193 XP. 
I mean, it's just because I'm low level, but still. Looks like that's everything. Did I not do my dailies yesterday? Did I not? Oh, I've got dailies. Yeah. Well, how the fuck? Okay. Yeah, all right. I currently want to kill myself. Okay, so I know that I want to be doing um, smithing at some point, which is why I'm obviously mining. However, there's a problem. My initial goal is to uh, is to begin through iron. However, if we go into the smithing guide and look at bars, well, hold on, let's just look at iron. There is a 50% chance of success rising with level until smithing hits 40, was it 6? Whatever. We're going to be at a point where we need rings of forging. However, they are enchanted by ruby rings, meaning we have to get level 49 magic. And also, we'll need gold ore. Except we sort of won't because... Um, as obviously you can see right now, I'm in the Starfind clan chat. Uh, and the reward for this is... Uh, 20 noted gold ore and 15 minutes extra ore boost. Yeah, well, so that's gold ore there. That's bars and ore sorted out. And there is a store that I can go to. Um, and I'm going to have to remember where it is. I just remember that there used to be a shop where you could buy gold ore. So I'll have to go there. Uh, we are slowly but surely getting little bits of supplies together to help us out down the road. Uh, we're going to go buy out the shop in a minute for the seeds. Uh, sorry, forget that. I've got 500 GP. Don't worry. So I'm not sure how long um, is the maximum amount of time I should really be putting these episodes out at. I feel like I can warrant about 10 to 15 minutes at a push. I don't think anything longer than that would be appropriate. I feel like the more time I have the account, the episodes will get probably progressively shorter. Just because of how much time it will make me to... Or sorry, that it will take me to make significant enough changes to warrant recording a clip. Um, so that's why they're a bit longer from sort of 10 to 15 minutes now. Just because uh, we're having we're having a little bit of fun at the start of the game, taking our time, we'll get some quests done, starting every skill, um, which is why it may be boring to watch. But anyway, we're gonna end that there, and uh, yeah.